it's time for an update on what will likely become Imelda over the coming days, and it could be big problems for the southeast. Some of the newest data shows this storm slowing as it approaches the coast, and that could really cause some heavy rain problems. And something that I think we have to watch as this storm moves north and it slows right across the Gulf Stream where we have extremely warm water temperatures, that could cause this storm to absolutely explode, and I think the models are picking up on that. Here are the steering currents. You've got this upper low kind of spinning. It's weakening as it does so. It's sort of sucking this storm up to the north and east, and then it starts to stop, all right? And then your upper level winds start to pull it back out to sea. Now, the afternoon European is saying, no, this thing is coming inland, and it's going to set here across the southeast and rain. A really interesting look on the operational European. The newest data coming in tonight says, yeah, this thing's going to get picked up and pulled out to sea as your trough gets a little bit elongated here. The question is, is this really going to happen? Look at the different outcomes. These are plots of low pressure. You can see where the center is. And as we get toward now Tuesday into Wednesday, there's starting to be a little more consensus right here in this area. So we've narrowed this down, right? It was up into the mid-Atlantic with a few members. Now we're starting to see this really coalesce right here off of the coast of South Carolina, Georgia, even North Carolina. And a lot of the members, even though you have a few that are pulling what's left over of the storm inland, a lot of them are taking it out to sea. This is the new 18Z guidance. If I go back to the earlier run today, a few more members had this storm coming a bit further inland. I will tell you that the 12Z guidance, also the 0Z guidance, generally uses more data. So I would trust it more. It doesn't mean they always get it right. It's just something to keep in mind as we track these runs. This is a look at the European that ran earlier today. This looks so impressive as this storm moves toward the Gulf Stream. And it, look, as it stalls, look what happens. The model picking up on that sh rapid strengthening as it moves toward the Gulf Stream. And then look how it stalls just off of the coast of Charleston, South Carolina. In my mind, this right here is worst case scenario. Hands down. Now you're stalling a tropical storm, likely now a hurricane, right off of the Gulf Stream. And it's just going to sit here and pound the Grand Strand up towards Wilmington. And this is a huge, huge problem if this comes to pass. National Hurricane Center official forecast showing now what will become Imelda developing across the Bahamas as a tropical storm. Now we're talking about Monday, still just north of the Bahamas, becoming a hurricane as it approaches the Gulf Stream. By 2 p.m. Tuesday, the official forecast is just off of Charleston. We're going to be getting battered if that's the case, no matter where the storm is at this point, to the north and east of it. So just be aware, this is the official forecast as of Friday night. And a lot could change, and it likely will over the coming days, just because of the uncertainty. Some of the guidance looking really impressive with wind gusts well over hurricane force, especially along the coast, with inland winds getting pretty high too. I think another big problem will be the heavy rain that we're going to see flooding rains. In fact, four, five, six inches looking common now across the Piedmont. And keep in mind, it's raining in these areas over the next couple of days before our tropical cyclone moves in. So this rain here, some of it be falling over the, before the real tropical rains move in heading into next week. And some of the mid-range models are starting to pick up on the idea of not just the rain that we're seeing right now ahead of this storm as we move towards Sunday into Monday. But here comes Imelda moving north out of the Bahamas. Once we get into Sunday night, into early Monday morning, we'll start to feel the effects along the coast. Now, toward Florida, this looks like it's going to stay mostly offshore. But at this point, look how strong this is starting to pick up here, at least on the RRFS model. This is now something that we're starting to keep an eye on as it gets within the short range models uh, guidance timeline. So more updates coming through the weekend. If you've not subscribed, hit that button. Come back. I'll be tracking it all weekend. If you're into winter forecasting, clearly we're still tracking tropical season, but I'm looking ahead to winter. The newest winter weather outlook came out this week. If you missed it, it's in the description below. You can also check it out right here. See you there.